Hi everyone, my name is Lulu. I am a fourth year civil and architectural engineering major. Uh, my name is Crystal and I'm a fourth year BSMS chemical engineering major as well. And today we're going to give you a quick tour of the Drexel campus. Um, and we're standing right now on 31st and Market Street um, and let's get started. Okay, so right now I'm standing in Drexel Square, which is right in front of one Drexel Plaza. And in there, there's a lot of administrative offices as well as classrooms. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm a junior in civil and architectural engineering. And I'm Elvira, and I'm a senior in the BSMS program for civil engineering. Welcome to the Geotechnical Research Laboratory. Here is where you'll have a lot of your soil mechanics labs and your construction materials labs. You'll be able to mix your own concrete, analyze soil samples, um, and you can do that using any of these testing mechanisms here. Right now we're at 3101 Market Street, home to the Innovation Studio, where a lot of freshman students take their Intro to Engineering Design classes, as well as a bunch of other labs for upperclassmen. This is the Innovation Studio. It's the home of the first year engineering design sequence where students from a variety of different majors learn to collaborate and create projects over a variety of different disciplines. This is an example of one of the projects. Uh, students created and tested this bridge um, under the supervision of a professor. Since we are remote right now, we're sending out kits with a variety of different materials so that students have access to what they need while working from home. The Innovation Studio is also home to a number of student organizations like Formula SAE, where they build and test race cars. You also have access to the Watt Lab for chemical engineering students or 3D printers and a machine shop. All students have access to this space and it's a maker space. The Innovation Studio is meant to be an adaptable space for a variety of different projects. Over the pandemic, since students aren't occupying the space, the university has switched gears to work on producing equipment for frontline workers. This space is currently being used to produce face shields using our 3D printers that are normally available for our students. So where we are right now is the Lebeau Engineering Center, which is on both sides of us. Um, and then coming up is the Center for Automation Technology, otherwise known as CAT. Now let's go to Basone. Here we have the Basone Research Center, which is also home to the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. This is the undergraduate chemical engineering lab and we have up to three different lab courses in here as well as a supplementary part of our computational lab courses. So here we are at the main building, home to the office of the president, vice president, and other administrative offices, as well as classrooms and labs. So over here we have the Cree Student Center, we have the Mandel Theater, and then McAllister Hall. Um, and in McAllister Hall, you'll find the Student Writing Center, so if you ever need help with any papers, that's where to go. So we're at the James E. Marks Tower, which is also home to our Barnes & Nobles, our bookstore, where you can get some Drexel merchandise, books, dictionary, and much more. Okay, here I'm standing by the Mario statue. As you can see, he's also wearing his mask. And then if we come around on this side, we have the Nesbitt School of Public Health. And then it's the Daskalakis Athletic Center, otherwise known as the DAC. And that's where the gym is and any basketball courts as well. And lastly, we have the Haggerty Library, where you'll find our students studying both day and night. We hope you enjoyed this video tour of some of Drexel's College of Engineering buildings and labs. We hope to see you soon at an upcoming open house and eventually on campus.